so you've just gotten your chain mail delivered to your door and there's a very sad UPS or FedEx driver because these things weigh over 30 pounds and you bust it open and you can't wait to try it on and all of a sudden that smell hits you. Ew! It smells like the inside of a 1980s Soviet tank. It's just covered in gun oil and grease and industrial smelling and it's just absolutely horrible. This will make you sick if you have to smell this all LARP. Uh, you listen to some people that tell you, you know, it's just part of chain mail and it's just going to dirty up your gambeson. That is disgusting. We're going to take this nasty, disgusting metal grease off of here and I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to show you everything that you're going to need to take this and turn it into wearable chain mail. First, you're going to need to go to your big box retailer, whether at Lowe's or Home Depot, and you're going to need to get a gallon of Zep Industrial Purple Degreaser. And this is not the purple drink that Little Wayne's talking about. This stuff will make you sick. You'll end up in the hospital and you won't resurrect. So do not drink it. Only use it for the cleaning process. This is going to cost you around $12 with tax, depending on where you live. Next, you're going to need a brush or something to agitate the washing process with. You're not going to really want your hands in there, so something like an old brush you don't care about. Maybe you find one of these at the Goodwill. I found this one at the flea market for a dollar. This is going to be perfect. The last thing, or actually two things you're going to need, is a Rubbermaid bin. Just a generic $5 Rubbermaid bin. Uh, you're not putting acid into this thing, it's just a degreaser, so this isn't breaking bad, you need somewhere to melt the bodies. You're just putting your chainmail and degreaser in there, so any Rubbermaid bin, any $5 tote's gonna work. Last but not least, you're gonna need a wardrobe holder. This way when we're spraying out the chainmail, we're gonna put it up here so it can drain out properly. Also, we have a way to dry it. You can buy these on Amazon for about $15. Um, the next process involving this is the spray out. Since most garden hoses don't have the pressure needed to really get out the grease after the degreaser is applied, we're just gonna take this up to the car wash. It's gonna be the simple and fastest method. I'm gonna bring this collapsible uh, wardrobe holder and we're gonna put the chain mail right on that. But before all of that, we're gonna to have to show you the pre-cleaning process. So let's jump right into it, get this thing in the tote, get the degreaser on it, and get to scrubbing. So we're gonna take our chain mail straight from the manufacturer. As you can see, this is just covered. I mean, look at that. That is disgusting. You can't put that on a gambeson. You can't wear that. That is horrific. Okay, make sure there's no debris. Kind of unfurl it as much as possible. Then we're just gonna take this zip and we're just gonna pour it in liberal. Now don't breathe, you know, directly while you're pouring any chemical, you know, step back. You know, this stuff is nasty. So we're just gonna pour that full gallon in there, okay? Awesome. I'm gonna make sure to recycle that. Okay, and this, we're just gonna get our brush and we're gonna pick it up and we're just gonna agitate it a little bit at the bottom. Just kind of stir it around, that's it. Just take turns folding it over side by side and just keep scrubbing it out. Let that degreaser do the work. After you've scrubbed it out, you're gonna leave it for about eh, 15 minutes and then we're gonna take it up to the car wash. All right, Dartonians. Let's spray this thing out at the car wash. We left the car wash about five minutes ago. It took us about five minutes to get home. So we left this in the bucket for about 10 minutes with a little water on it. As Soon as we got it home, we hung it up on that same wardrobe rack to dry. It's midsummer in Georgia in July, so it gets up to about 92 degrees outside. 
So this really isn't going to need more than about an hour, hour and a half to totally dry. And because it will absorb the heat, when you go to take this off in an hour, hour and a half, test it or wear gloves. Make sure you don't burn yourself.